former President Jacob Zuma is expected to make a big announcement today that could change the political landscape in the country. Zuma will be in Soweto to commemorate the 62nd anniversary of Umkonto Wesizwe. Now for more on the story, let's cross to our reporter, Zolaka Kotashe. Zolaka, a very good morning to you. A lot of speculation of what uh, we expect the former president to announce today. What can you unpack about today's announcement? Well, good morning, Naledi, and good morning to the viewers at home. Yes, you are correct. We are in Soweto today, where the former president is also expected to um, address MKMVA um, members. Uh, thanks, Lebo, uh, pardon me, uh, where he is expected to um, address um, members of the MKMVA. Um, and we do know that, that is, there is that um, much-anticipated announcement that he is scheduled to make at 2 p.m. today regarding his political future, um, whether he will give us um, an indication um, of what that is. Um, I'm sure viewers and um, uh, us uh, as um, media are um, very very much um, waiting for that announcement. But for now, um, he will be coming to Soweto where he will be addressing members of the MKMVA. Now, the MKMVA is today in Soweto, in Lamini, where they will be commemorating the 62nd anniversary of the formation of Umkonto Wesizwe. Now, we know that it was formed in 1961 um, against the backdrop of um, the violence that was meted out against the black population and also um, as a response to the um, 1960 Sharpeville massacre and so we know that the MKNVA despite um, them being here to commemorate such a day um they have been in the media for various reasons. Um, we know that it has been um, fraught with divisions, with the ANC also looking at um, uh, a unity conference uh, between the MKMVA, the association, and the MK National Council. And so they are here today. Um, but also, uh, as the president will be addressing um, these members, we do know that um, the MKMVA was disbanded um, with the ANC um, announcing that disbanded. I think in 2021 um, and so we want to know from them um, why they still are under this banner and whether um, what is in store um, for us today but joining me to unpack this further is Tandukolo Kyoto who is the regional secretary of the MKMVA in Johannesburg good morning good morning to any of you as um, tell us what you plan to do today uh, today, uh, every year, we meet here in Petros Mulife Park. This park is called Petros Mulife. Uh, Petros Mulife is the first member of Mkonto, who died in 1961 when he put a bomb in Dube and he timed it very early that it exploded on him. So the park is named after him. So uh, here every year commemorating the formation of Mkonto, we, we do a wreath laying and remembering all those members that passed away from 1961 till to date. Um, tell us, the MKMVA was disbanded um, in 2021. Are you still part of the ANC and is this still an ANC event? Uh, we, we, we are MKMVA. Uh, let, let us put it very clear. When, 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 you know, the issue of disbandment, it, it, it's a very, very serious issue because of when we were told that we were disbanded, we we're still looking for a letter that showed that we were disbanded. The NEC could not produce that letter, even still today. Uh, uh, and, 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 of course, of course, it, it, it says very, very clearly that we are a people's army. Uh, we, we, we fight in the sight of the people. So whether, whether, whether we are in the ANC or not in the ANC, it's not here, not there. But we still subscribe that we are members of Mkonto Wesizwe Military Veterans, and we are proud of that. The MKMVA has, in previous times, um, lamented the governing ANC over what it says unfair treat is unfair treatment uh, meted out against um, the people that they say have fought um, for the country's democracy. Is this a stance that you still hold? Yes, very much. And everybody, everybody, everybody knows it very well that uh, the ANC, the ANC, when after after it after after in 1993, when Mkonto Wesizu was disbanded and we marched in Orlando Stadium, uh, the, the the only plan that they had it was to take us into integration into the SNDF. They never had any plan. But when there were problems in the integration process, we came back from the ANC telling them that we, this is not an integration. Because if you arrive there in the assembling area, SNDF wearing their uniform. 
were forced to wear their uniform. And, and, and that is when then, then the high command of Mkonto decided that we must form Mkonto Wesuzo Military Veterans in 1996. And we are saying that it was formed for three things. One, for the welfare of military veterans, for employment opportunities and business opportunities of former members of Mkonto Wesuzo. And the ANC have been failing throughout in, in, in us achieving that goals. While having members of Mkonto Wesuzo, you can see oh, oh, they are here around. Some of them are unemployed. Some of them are, stay, are staying in bridges for that matter. Other, others are staying in family homes where they sleep in, in, in a dining room. And these are the problems that we've been raising with government and government doesn't want to listen to them. I understand that there was previously a commitment that um, the M- members of the MKMVA would um, benefit from um, resources, state resources. This was never the case? No, no. You, you, you see, under President Zuma, there was only one thing that happened. President Zuma, when he was the president, he gave us a, a, a department called Department of Military Veterans. And then there were people that were, were, were employed to work in that department. And that department is doing anything. I'll make an example with myself. I have two children. One of them is, is checked out of school because I can't afford school fees. And I've been taking my forms to DMV for my child to be paid. They, they can't pay. So, 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 so these are the problems. That department is there, but it's controlled because of, of the infighting of the ANC. Because of now it's under Tabang Makweta, who feels that as a member of the National Council, members of MKMV should not benefit in that department. It must benefit his own members, uh, his own faction. That is where the problem is. Okay, to current matters, um, there is now, uh, mur- there are murmurs that there is a political party that has been formed called Umkonto Wisizwe. Is the association at all linked to that? No, no, no. We, 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 we are MKMV. I, I, I saw, I saw posters and pamphlets of Umkondo Party, and 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 and, and formally so. Uh, 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 it's it's not because of uh, Tina. We are not we are not politician. Tina, we are dealing with three things, which is the welfare, the business opportunity, and employment opportunities. We are not. If we wanted to contest uh, uh, the election, would register ourselves as Umkondo uh, 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 to for, for for election. But then, for now, we are hearing it and. and and we hope that we're going to get answers very soon. Thank you. That was Tandukolo uh, Gyodyo, who is the regional secretary of the MKMVA in Johannesburg. And we know that the um, former president is scheduled to make his way to this very park um, not too long from now. Um, we also know that the MKA... MKMVA previously um, was when the former president was facing that contempt of court um, charge by the constitutional court. Um, they had vowed to protect him and had camped outside his homestead in KwaZulu Natal. And so he will be addressing those members today. Um, as to his announcements today, um, I mean, he has been head of state um, two times, although he has not um, finished um, his second term. Um, so we await to see. Um, like I'm sure the viewers are eager to see um, what that announcement, that much-anticipated announcement, um, will be um, later on today.